It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Middleweight World Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 24 wins with two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger and former UFC middleweight world champion, Rich Ace Franklin! And now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He holds a professional record of 19 wins with four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 184 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC middleweight world champion, Anderson the Spider. Silva! All right, gentlemen, this is for the UFC Middleweight Championship. I went over their instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. I want you to fight clean. Do you have any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Touch gloves. Let's get it on. Undoubtedly, this is a different Rich Franklin as he faces that man, Anderson Silva, once again, Joe. Will it make a difference, though? Can he be victorious? Can he erase the demons? Can he once again become the middleweight champion? Big John McCarthy, our referee. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Come on. The Bengals shorts being sported by Rich Franklin. The Steelers shorts, ironically, by Anderson Silva. Really interesting to see what Franklin's strategy is coming into the second fight. And one of the things that he said that he was surprised at the first fight was how well he did in the stand-up. It was the clinch that killed him. Both men southpaws. Franklin is willing to exchange with anybody in the world. Inside leg kick by Franklin. His mind, his eyes, the way he's looking at it already look better. He looks clearer, looks more confident. Just talking to him this week, you could tell that he had a smile back on his face. It's almost as if he had a secret, Joe. Good right hand by Franklin. Good inside leg kick by Franklin as well. Let's see how he deals with the clinch. He took a knee to the body. Let's see if Silva can get the clinch. He's spinning around, shaking him off. All Pushes right. him up against the cage. Obviously, he's learned something. Let's see what happens here in close quarters. What does he need to do differently in the clinch from the first time? He cannot let Anderson Silva grab that plum, the Muay Thai plum, grabbing two hands, clasping the back of the neck. He cannot let that happen because Anderson pitches down on your neck and can swing you back and forth and control you and lead you into knees. So he's, he's, what he's doing is he's got a strong overhook on the left side, and every time Anderson goes to grab that head, he's going to stop him. He's going to do whatever he can. Grab the waist, keep him down. He's got him down. There you go. Rich Franklin avoided the clinch and got the takedown. And Anderson Silva has a dangerous guard. Rich has got to be careful. And then Joe Silva's informed me that Matt Hume has worked extensively with Rich about passing the guard. Worked constantly on that. It's the first time uh, Franklin's ever taken his camp out of Cincinnati. He went to Wyoming for a number of weeks to train in the altitude and the seclusion, if you will, to get away from the media attention and all the fans who adore him. Anderson back to his feet. Rich has got a hold of one of the legs. Anderson back to his feet. This will only energize Rich Franklin and energize this uh, very... Uh, very pro Franklin crowd here. Another thing we haven't seen out of Anderson is what is Anderson's conditioning like when he yes. drags in the deep water? Rich Franklin's work ethic and conditioning are second to none. The only person I can see is work as hard as much as this guy does is Sean Shirt. Right 
He's got an unbelievable strength and conditioning program that he puts his body through. This is the main event of UFC 77. Got to watch for that clinch at any moment on those dangerous knees. Took a little knee to the body there and backed away. Silva! Oh, turning side kick to the yeah. body. He caught him. This is where he's so dangerous, Joe. He's and still you know so what? good. Rich Franklin is very dangerous here as well. Absolutely. And Rich has some unorthodox punches. Rich's punches come from weird angles. Like, you see that? Yeah. They land in that right hand. Over the top. Rich said this would be a different fight. So far it is. Good body kick by Anderson there. Good right hand by Anderson. Rich is in trouble. Silva trying to overwhelm him again. Franklin looking to survive early here in round one. Rich looked up at the clock. He continuously looks up at the clock. But you know what? Already he looks much better. His performance is much better than the first fight. When a fighter has doubts, when a fighter is coming off injuries, it, 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 your mind has to be clear coming into a Absolutely. big fight against a dangerous fighter like Anderson. He had had a seven-month layoff after the win over Luazo, in which he got all busted up. And in that seven-month layoff, he was recovering from a broken hand yeah. and a badly injured ankle. Franklin the body is by cut. Franklin. Franklin is cut above his left eye with Silva. Nice knee to the body by Anderson. Looking for the takedown. Franklin got out of it. 40 seconds remains in the first of five five-minute rounds. Body kick by Franklin. You Good talked about Silva's Anderson. impeccable timing, Joe. The right hand, man. Good left hand by, by Rich Franklin. Oh, Silva dancing around. Oh, my. Oh, spinning back fist. He's caught him with everything fancy with so far, knee. if you will. He's got the plum. Rich has got to be careful here. He's got it. Oh, there's a big one. Ten seconds left in the round. Rich is Five hard. seconds left in the round. Right hand. Big Down hand goes Franklin. The round is over. Rich was badly, badly hurt right before the end of that round. He ate that right hand and dropped. He's still hurt badly. They have great respect for each other. There's no animosity here. They have great respect for each other, do Franklin and Silva. Good leg kick by Franklin. The, the, the scary thing when you fight Anderson Silva is you're just starting to get the feeling it's just a matter of time until he puts on a flurry like he did Very at the end nice of the round. Very nice leg kick by Anderson. Franklin's going to bring it again, though. And as you said, he's got knockout power and he's got unorthodox striking. But a couple of the moves that scored were the spinning back fist and the spinning kick. And that was the things that caught Franklin off guard. Caught him in the midsection and then caught him right across the chin. The real shot that hurt him was that right hand. Oh, absolutely, right. Joe. But the first ones that really were ones that caught him off guard were those. And Franklin goes down momentarily. Rich has got to be careful here. Don't turn uh, away he from eats him. one again. Silva with a big knee. Franklin nice is in right trouble. Hand. Nice right hand. Silva trying to finish it here. Another knee. And down goes Franklin. Anderson Silva has defended his middleweight title. Who can stop that man? He dominates Rich Franklin again. He's such a sniper. I mean, his, his, his strikes are so accurate and so deadly. You see him there being congratulated by Noguera, the man who trains him in jiu-jitsu and gave him his black belt. Oh, here he is. Bang! Knee to the chin. Body shot, leg kick. Rich Boom. Franklin is just getting overwhelmed here. The right hand hurts him. Boom. The knee to the head hurts him. Another knee. That right knee caught him flush, Joe. That was it. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Big John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the UFC middleweight world champion, Anderson the Spider Silva! It was
was a better fight, but the result was indeed the same.